Hello everyone, this is Irvin Balfour. I am going live today because I have been pulled over by the same police officer for the fifth time for a tenth violation. His name is Officer Billingsley. I have been to the courts. It has been thrown out three times. He has still given me a citation. I have been to the DMV registrar's office. I even have medical documentation saying transition window 10 is medically necessary on my VA documentation. He is still giving me a ticket after I've been told by the attorney's office, the state, the district attorney, that this was legal. Now he is sending me back to court and issuing me another citation to go to court, which I already just been to court on the 19th, which was also thrown out. He is pulling me over again. Now keep in mind, y'all, this is the same police officer, Officer Billingsley. He has pulled me five times since I've moved in my home. He has pulled my wife once for the same thing, tent. Okay, he is riding around trying to get people for their tent and mine is legal. Now keep in mind, I'm gonna repeat one more time, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Officer Billingsley. He has also been told by the district attorney not to give me a ticket. He was told by the district attorney that all this documentation that I have, medical documentation as a disabled veteran, that this is legally legit. Okay, I was even issued a new document, a new disabled veteran uh, tag separate from my license plate. Okay, and he is still harassing me. Now keep in mind, this is the fifth time he has pulled me and I am less than a block away from home. The fifth time, ladies and gentlemen, for the same ticket. This is Clayton County Police Department, Officer Billingsley being reported right now. I am a disabled veteran. He has pulled me five times for the same reason for disabled tent, uh, for tent on my windshield. I have legal documentation from the courts and from the VA doctor that this is 100% legal, okay? Medically necessary. I have medical transition glasses on, okay? These are my medical transition glasses as well as the documentation for the tent on my windshield. Again, this, cop, this is Officer Billingsley, which has pulled me five times, y'all, for the same thing five times consecutively less than two miles from my home okay i am pressing charges i was told to pull live and the district attorney told me as well to make sure you notate this he has told me he doesn't care about what this is the law now dmv di district the registrar's office the district attorney and everyone else says otherwise okay i am strict i'm really really about to have a nervous breakdown because with everything going on right now i have a black cop that has pulled me five times for the same thing the same police officer i have been living in georgia since i retired in 2013 i've been here since 2007 had never been harassed by no police officer in the state of georgia this is the same police officer for the fifth stop pulling me over y'all after being to court three times and it's been thrown out he has given me another ticket for the same thing anyway he pulled me just because he saw my tent again now he acts like he doesn't know who i am after pulling me five times it is really gone overboard y'all in today's world on what we are going through this is Irvin balfour senior i am live right now being pulled over by clayton county the police department for a tent that is legally on my window by the VA, okay? Note, transition, transition window tent, medically necessary. It has been done, it has, I've been to court three times, they have thrown his ticket out three times. I have called to speak with his commanding officer. I am waiting on his commanding officer right now, okay? This is a black police officer with Clayton County Police Department harassing a black, disabled, 100% disabled, retired veteran with medical paperwork, and he has pulled me five times for the same thing knowing this. So I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. 
All I know is I got surgery next month and I don't have time for this type of shit. But I will be pressing charges against Clayton County Police Department for the harassment of this police officer. His name is Officer Billingsley with Clayton County Police Department. He's over the traffic division there. Okay. I want you all to know he is harassing people for their tent only i've been pulled five times by this man for the same thing two miles less than two miles from my home okay i have asked and requested to speak to his commanding officer i have the documentation from the attorney's office i have the last ticket he gave me still in my possession for december 19th as y'all can see which was also thrown out okay i just want y'all to know that this is officer billingsley with clayton county the peace department harassing a, a disabled veteran for tent that is legal on his vehicle okay legally it is on my window okay legally i wanted to say repeat legally legally on my window legally okay and he is still going to give me a ticket because he says it's the law it is not the law when you got documentation from the veterans office as well as the da okay as well as the dmv and the registrar's office the and everybody else that and then they assign me a new handicap tag now keep in mind ladies and gentlemen i have handicap plates disabled veteran handicap plates okay they issued me a new tag just for Officer Billingsley so he could stop harassing me. He is still issuing me a, a citation. So I have requests to speak to his supervisor right now for the harassment and I will be pressing charges against them immediately. Immediately. This is insane, y'all. This is Atlanta, Georgia. We're right here in Hampton, Lovejoy area. And this is Officer Billingsley with the Clinton County the, the Police Department harassing me, a disabled veteran, with legal documentation on having tent on my windshield, okay? It was specifically medically put on my windshield for a reason, and he is still giving me a ticket after being, again, for the fifth time. Now, I've been to court three times. The attorney, this DA, again, has thrown this ticket out because I am medically disabled, 100% retired disabled, U.S. Army veteran. OK, and he has pulled me again. Now, I was just taking my dog, as you can see, for a walk. Look, support animal, support animal, support animal, service animal. He is a service animal because I need him. OK, and I'm being harassed by the Clayton County Police Department and being issued citations for something I have I've have already been to court for three, five times. And now the D.A. has told me specifically to what to tell officer billingsley i know him personally y'all personally personally he has done this to me after being explaining to him what the da told me to tell him okay so i've been this is the fifth time he pulled my wife as well as myself both cars are registered to me he pulled my wife for a t ticket as well, which was thrown out because it was legal. He told my wife well, it was illegal. It was legal tent, and she was just leaving the tent shop, y'all. Now, both cars are registered to me. 20 years in the service, and I got medical documentation regarding this. Now, this is, he is giving me, the, he's giving me the citation that told the D, again, another citation, as y'all can see. And he's talk, telling me it's the hey, law. Right so it's not a is that, no, I, I'm not signing that because I haven't done anything, sir. I asked to speak to your commanding officer. Listen to me, sir. Then I tell you I was going to call someone. I already called someone. All right, I appreciate it. But I'm not going to sign that because I'm not having done anything wrong, this officer. That's what I'm saying, sir. Your signature is not a mission guilty. The state that you received the copy citation. If you decline to sign, we're required to get fingerprints. You have to go down and post a cash bond. I can't take cash money from you. So therefore, I'll transfer you to the county. But what are you giving me? What are you giving me the citation for? One attempt violation, sir. I'm not, and even though you got proof that you told me to go get of the window from the DA and the D, and the DMV stating that this is a medically, medically needed. Listen, well, I'm not having court. I did what you told me to do, did I not, Officer Billingsley? No, sir. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You told me specifically the first time, the first time you pulled me over, my wife was in the car and I had my daughter in the car on both occasions. I got witnesses that you said this. So they can be in court and, okay, and you testify. Want do, you want to sign it, you want to go down and post a cash bond. Once again, your signature is not admission of guilt. It's just stating that you received the I, I will case. sign as soon as your commanding officer get here. As soon, soon as he gets here, I'll sign it for you. Okay, no at problem. At that point, you're going to be going to jail to post a cash bond. Why? 
I just told you, sir. You've seen this. I'm going to sign it, but I just want to sign it under your commanding officer. That's all. No, you know, that ain't how it works, sir. Why doesn't it work that way? Just because just because a citizen asks for a supervisor, all the process don't stop. No, this is no, it's you not stopping stop because it. of that. It's just we're stopping because you pulled me five times for the same thing okay. that has been thrown out, okay, Officer Billy. Do you want to sign? You want to go post a gas bond? Once again, your signature is not admission to guilt. It's just statement you received the copy citation. I'm gonna tell you, don't make this any harder than it should be. You made it harder I'm because I. I will sign it. And did I? I will sign it. Just sign right there with your finger, sir. It's not a mission guilt. Just stating you. Can All right, but can I wait till your commanding officer no, get no, here to sign? No, sign this and get this out of the way, sir. Supervisor, then the route to speak with. You requested one. I called one for you. I told you I would. I did. Okay. No problem. The screen went off. I'm being issued the citation for the fifth time, y'all. For the fifth time, would you like to read the law, see what it says? The law, and the district attorney threw okay. it out and said, you don't have right, to, sir. told so me to show you this. He told me to show, that. listen, the DMV, the registrar and the DA told me to show you this, and you still uh, harassing me. It, this is the fifth time. Don't right. You don't work for them. Who pay your taxes, sir? Because I believe we do pay, I'm a hard-earned taxpayer. Where is your commanding officer? I want to know where the commanding, I don't know where he went. Like Are you going to be here with him? You want me to stay? I stay. Yes, I want okay. you to stay. We'll yes, sir. I want you to stay. Right. Can I walk my dog? Is that okay? Can I put? Can I take my dog to the party? All right. I just want to make sure. All right. Yeah, I'm just. I'm walking him right here in the grass. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I'm not leaving. I need to speak to your supervisor, man, because I haven't done anything. I know you're not. All I wanted to make sure was it okay. Okay. Can y'all believe this, ladies and gentlemen? I have been pulled over again for a tent by the same police officer. The same police officer, y'all. Officer Billingsley. He has issued me a citation for the same thing, and I have written documentation that is legal for me to ride around like this, y'all. Legal. Now, the district attorney has thrown this out. He has came up here, I don't know how many times to do this. I'm going to walk my dog. Y'all just bear with me. Come here. Come here. Harassment, y'all. Five times he has pulled me the same police officer, y'all. Five times. Five times, y'all. And I got legal documentation. Five times the same police officer, y'all. Officer Billingsley. Five times, y'all, the same police officer. All I'm doing is walking my dog. Come on. Come on. This is ridiculous, y'all. Now keep in mind, keep in mind, I'm gonna say this one more time, y'all. I've been pulled for 10, for the fifth time by the same police officer. And I got legal duplication. I'm in now. I, this is Clayco, Clayton County, Clayton County, right now. And he is still giving me another ticket right now. All right, he he's giving me another. He just gave me another ticket right now. He, he uh, the same ticket for the same thing that's been thrown out four times. Me and my wife. Now I got documentation this time, and he still gave it to me. So I asked to speak with his commanding officer. Now I got surgery next month. Come on. I don't know. I just don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what to do. He's 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 lost his mind. He's lost his mind. 
He has lost his mind. Keep it again. This is the fifth time, y'all. The fifth time for the same by the same cop. It's the same cop, y'all. The fifth time, same cop. Sarnay, I know. I just need help. I need help because this is ridiculous. What these cops are doing to us out here. It's ridiculous, man. I'm so hurt right now. I'm crying right now. Niggas is I'm fucking. I'm fucking disgusted, man. I'm disgusted. I'm fucking disgusted. You heard me? Tears coming out my eyes. I'm so mad, man. Because you can do right and you can live right. But you got motherfuckers just like this, man, that go around harassing innocent people that don't do nothing. Good, wholesome people, man, that don't do shit. That don't do shit. This is why I'm in. I ended up in the fucking hospital last time. Almost had a fucking stroke. Dealing with motherfuckers like this. Dealing with motherfuckers like just like this. The same cop, man. The same cop. And I went and did everything he said. Everything he told me to do since I got out. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired, man. I'm fucking tired. And they wonder why we going crazy, man. This shit is fucking ridiculous. All I'm doing is walking my goddamn dog, man. That's it. So this all I'm doing is walking my dog, man. What that say right there? What does it say, man? Man, this ain't no joke. This ain't no goddamn joke, man. He think people be living and walking around here doing this shit. This ain't no joke. <laughs> I'm tired, yo. I'm fucking tired. Fucking tired, man. I am filing charges, man. This is ridiculous, man. Got my heart rate all up and shit. All for what? I ain't did shit. Boy, I, I live around the fucking corner, man. I'm walking my goddamn dog and you giving me a tick ticket again, trying to give me a tick ticket again. So waste my time to go to fucking court, okay? They did. You gonna try to issue a warrant if I don't go? All this bullshit for something I ain't even did. I ain't even did it. I ain't even did nothing. I got legal legal tent on my car. Legal tent, come on. Get up there. Good boy. Come here. Get up there. Uh-uh, not here. Uh-uh. Come on, Papa, this way. Y'all gonna have to excuse me. Y'all gonna have to excuse me, man. But, cause this shit is, this shit has gotten out of hand, man. This shit is out of hand, man. I'm not, I'm tired of getting pulled by this black officer, man, for the same thing. What the fuck this shit say, man? What the fuck does this shit say, man? I swear to God, they keep throwing it out of court because it's from the Department of Veterans Affairs, man. What the fuck this shit say? What does the fuck this shit say, everybody? Huh? They even gave me a new fucking ticket just for him. They did this just for him, and I got fucking plates. They so I could get a totally different fucking number just so I could give it to him. Look, what does it say? What does it say? Huh? Huh? Irving Eugene Balfour Senior. What the fuck? I had to go through all this. I spent three hours trying to get that resolved, and they finally gave me this just so he wouldn't mess with me no more. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. I'm gonna stand out here. All because I'm walking my goddamn dog. I was doing was walking my goddamn dog, man. I'm walking my damn dog. This is ridiculous. Five fucking times by the same officer, man. And I got documentation. I'm tired of this motherfucking nigga right here. I'm tired of this cop right here, man. This cop right here is blowing me. It's, it's fucking me up. Okay? I'm tired of him, man. Five times the same police officer. Officer fucking Billingsley. Officer Billingsley, y'all. Clay County the Peace, man. He pulls people just for their tent. He wide around looking for people's tent. And my shit legal. My shit legal. 
I'm so I'm trying to stay calm, man. I'm trying to stay calm, but when you've been pulled five fucking times by the same police officer, the shit gets kind of irate, you know. Shit got can get kind of irate when you get pulled five times by the same officer, y'all. This shit is ridiculous. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. This shit is fucking tough, baby, baby, baby. I'm tired. It's the same motherfucker, man. Baby, it's the same officer that pulled you. I'm tired of this motherfucker, man. He about to put me in a fucking hospital, man. I swear to God. <laughs> tired of it, man. Come on, you don't know the law. I know the law. I did everything you told me. <laughs> Fuck this, man. They talking about this, and they wonder why motherfuckers going around killing people, man. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm tired, yo. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Look at my eyes. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm wow, I'm exhausted. I'm tired, man. I'm tired, dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. 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 Oh, boy. He say I'm free to go. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't speak to a commanding officer. I'm waiting on his commanding officer. He done already gave me my ticket. I asked him to stay. That's what they told me to do. Ask for his commanding officer, man. This man done pulled me five motherfucking times.
Yeah, I'm back, y'all. Just walking my dog, y'all. Same police officer. Now, this cat, this uh, supervisor just showed up. He talking to him right now. Pulled five times, y'all. Again, the situation at hand is I've been pulled five times by the same officer for 10 on my windshield, which is legal. I have legal documentation stating that I'm allowed to have this window tinting on my windshield by the by the VA, by the doctor. I'm having surgery next month. Okay. I even got my service dog with me. Okay. Taking my dog for a walk. Okay. They issued me a new handicap tag just for the tent on my windshield, and he still issued me another citation today. Now, he turned around. I'm two miles. I'm less than two miles from home. I still got the last citation he gave me, not including the last three he done gave me already. This is just doing? I'm doing all right. So, so, so officer uh, Copfield, I am, I don't know what he has told you, mm -hmm. but I've been to court three times for the same thing. Mm -hmm. He pulled my wife. We bought our house two years ago, brand new, right over here. Mm -hmm. I ain't been over here two years. This same cop has pulled me five times for window tinting, mm -hmm. which I have documentation from the district, from the VA, including they issued me a new tag just for him. Mm -hmm. They had to issue me this just for him because of his harassment. Mm -hmm. They told me if he harassed me one more time, I need to get it all on documentation because he has no right on keep pulling you for this after the DA dismissed it three times. The district attorney has dismissed it with three times. He done put, he comes, he pulls my wife. He pulls, I had my daughter in the car one time. I had my wife in the car one time. I'm in my wife's car. Now keep in mind, both cars issued to me with disabled veteran plates. Mm -hmm. Both cars. He pulled my wife leaving the window tennis shop. He waits and sits at the window tinting shop, mm -hmm. okay? He gives people tickets thinking they window tinting. My two my wife's window tinting was legal. They threw that out. So he keep pulls me again, walking my, walking my service animal. Mm -hmm. I have a service animal. I'm disabled, I'm mentally tired. Mm -hmm. And he keeps harassing, I got surgery next month. Mm -hmm. And he's doing this mm -hmm. for something, for what I haven't done, I didn't do anything. And he keeps issuing me citations for the same thing. Look at, he keeps kissing me. He just gave me a ticket on the 19th, which I had to go to court for. Mm -hmm. This is the third, this, this, that was the third one. This is the fourth one for the same thing. He keeps he pulling me, he rides around town looking for tent. You can't keep, he, he's, he pulled me the first time. He said, your, your truck stand out like a sore thumb, son. So you know who I am then. Mm -hmm. You can't say you don't know who I am if I didn't. Be. He said, this is what you need to do. You need to go down to the registrar's office, go down to the DMV, tell them to give you your, uh, 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 some type of certificate or whatever I, so you can show me that makes it legal. So they gave me this. Uh -huh. Look, I have disabled, I got disabled veteran tags. I don't need that. Right. They gave me this for him. Because they don't know what he's talking about. The law doesn't state that. Nowhere in the anywhere that I can't have that with this. Nowhere. Okay. So he keeps giving me tickets and pulling me over, wasting my time to go to court. Get stressing me out, stressing my family out. I just buried my son, and you stressing me out. You go do some, go do some helpful and go arrest somebody that really needs to be messed with. I started 20 years military, retired. And you want to, you harassing me over something that's been thrown out four times? And you, then he just told me I don't work for this. I don't work for them. I'm going to give you one anyway. What kind of shit is that to tell a citizen that do, did everything you told them to do? And you still pulling me over and giving me another citation. What is up? What, what is wrong with him? 
What is wrong with him? I don't know what's going on. I haven't done anything. If if he continues to pass you and he sees what, what, what is Calm down. All right. All right. And he sees what is a valid uh, violation, then he has a reason. He has a reason to stop him. Okay? He got the reason to stop me. That's you right. And they told me if he does, all you gotta do is show him this. For the fourth time, this is what they told me. Okay. You, you actually have to you actually have to submit to the state. The state, I, of, the state of Georgia. Y'all need to, but y'all gotta talk to the DA, man. Y'all the DA. Y'all, I'm doing what the DA told me to do. And I'm still getting citations. You have to, you have to submit to the state. I did. The state, the state. They gave me this. Boy, it's in the system. They issued me this. This is totally different from my plates. Uh -huh. They issued me this for the tent on my windshield because that was the only thing they could give me. So what are you talking about? Uh -huh. I did go to the registrar's there, there, office. There's an actual application. There's a form, and it's not this, all right, to get your, med uh, your, med your state medical exemption, and they're still not going to give you an exemption for the complete window. That's why it continues. To, that's why it continues to stop. You. All right. It's not. It's but you can't continue to stop somebody at the DA. Yeah. See, I'm stuck in the middle. And you got right. a you got a cop that's doing his job, and you got the DA telling the citizen to do something else. So where do I stand, and what do I do, Mister? Yeah, now you telling me the DA is wrong, the judge is wrong. This this is this is what you can do. No, I'm just hold asking. Hold on, I'm just this asking. This is what you can do. All right. Since you're stuck in the middle, and the, if the solicitor continues to dismiss it you mean the da they, the no. da keeps just submissing it's, it's submissing a, it's it solicitor right because they, a, they the, see the, it. the solicitor's office handles state court cases unless it's a felony this is these are misdemeanors all right so as they a homeowner i have to continue to be harassed by this black police officer Until, because because a retired veteran listen to me you have nothing else better to do and he know i got documentation he has nothing else better to do with what's going on right now but to harass me i understand all that okay but as long as you have a violation he has a reason to stop you it's a reason to stop me those that you haven't stopped before five times off did you would five times imagine if you lived at home and the same cop keep pulling you five that's not different police officers i've been here since 07. i have had every vehicle of mine tenant this is the only cop since I moved to Hampton two years ago that has pulled me five. He pulled me five times in less than two years. So again, that what do you he, call that? If he issue, if he issues you a citation, and he, he they keep throwing it out. If he issues, if he issues you a citation, and he sees you with the same violation. You yeah, haven't corrected that. You haven't corrected the violation. From it's not a violation when the when the, the, the DA is telling me the, it's not. If the solicitor. Just is going to Robert, throw it out. He issues you the citation. Give it about two Negative. weeks. Negative. Call the solicitor. Negative. Say, hey, Negative. I would like to speak with Negative. the investigator Negative. for this case because it should be assigned to an investigator by that point in time. Say, hey, is this the violation? Is this a violation? If it's a valid violation, Negative. he's got a valid reason to stop you. He's got a valid reason to issue the, uh, uh, issue the citation. The solicitor can throw it out all day long if he wants to. Right. And if he's going to throw it out again, just say, hey, look, I got this citation. You know, the officer issued it to me, you know. Uh, so, so basically, as long as I live here and I got that to the, I have to worry about him. Not, not, and listen, it's not nobody else. I have to worry about him. It ain't nobody else. Until you, until you either address I have to worry about him. Until you. That's until what you're you, telling me. Yes, Fire. until you address the <laughs> issue of the window gotcha. it by either removing the full tent from the window gotcha. or gotcha. getting a medical exemption from I did. the state. I the, got a medical the, exemption. Getting a medical I exemption from like the state DOV. DMV. The 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 they gave me this. Okay. They gave me this. They gave me this. I went to the state like he told me to and they gave me this. This is what they gave me. With this, they, they, they gave me this with a different number specifically for this. Mm -hmm. It's totally different from my veteran place. Uh -huh. it's, it's two different IDs. So what I'm trying to tell you is what is the purpose of the state DM, DM, DMV, the state, giving me this, mm -hmm. okay, if, it's to, if it has nothing to do with this? Because the only reason they gave me this mm -hmm. was for this. So what are you trying to tell me that I did wrong? They gave me this 
for this. This has nothing so this, to do so with this. So this says somewhere that, that you can have. This is what full, they. The full, full this is what they told me because of what they said. Okay. Medicine but said, and but, this. This is they on. said we gonna issue but, you this for the state. It's a totally different number. Hopefully this will help okay. you. Okay. That's what they say. They say you can take the whole thing. This is how I had it. This is how I had it when I pulled up. Yeah, I'm out with him. This is how I had it when I pulled up. They said that. So if they issue me this for my windshield, what are you telling me to go get now? Because they gave this is totally separate for my car. My tags are for my vehicle. This is for my windshield. They gave me that because he, because for him. They say show this to him next time because this is, thank you. This is for him. If he arrested, because I did the first time Officer Billingsley pulled me over. You know? So they issued me that. They you saying they can't, but they did issue me this for my windshield. I'm that's all I'm saying. That's what that is. You told me to go get something for your windshield. That's what the state gave me. You have that letter that the state gave you? That's the, no, they I went to the office. I went to three different the, the, the different state offices. This well, is what they get me. That, I can't help. That's what they gave me for it. What are you giving? What are you talking you, about? I, what I'm saying is, bro, I'm innocent. It's on. I'm stuck in the middle doing the right thing. You're not listening to me. I'm doing the right things, and I've done everything you've told me to do. Everything since day one, and you still are harassing. I even went and got the damn. I'm a state for my windshield and you still are giving me a citation. I have done nothing but do what you ask me to do. Yes. That's why I went two so different, that, three different ones. Permit fee? Yeah, I don't need a problem. I'm hundred percent disabled. I don't need a permit fee. fee. They told me there is no, won't be no permit fee for you as a hundred percent disabled veteran. They told me this. I don't even pay state. See, they you ain't never been in the military, so you wouldn't understand. He never been in the military. So you listen, stop. I served 20 years. Don't correct me on something you ain't never did. Can you please ask, tell me what this is for, if I, from the state, for my windshield? Okay. This has nothing to do with the windshield, which is what I was trying to, trying to explain to you. Yes, sir. All right? And with, this is also what he's trying to explain to you. He's showing you the application, wants to show you the application get that back up. You can pull it up. What, uh, it, what, right. what it shows you on the application I'm not saying is that they, that they won't issue one for the full window. I understood. Okay. But they did. But they did. What I'm trying, you say they won't. They did. Yeah, that ain't right. I'm not, how you think I got this? Not, this is what I'm trying, if you, if you run it, it's going to pull up that it's for my windshield because this is what I had to provide them with to get it. Yes. It, this it, is what I had to provide them with. Handicap. Listen, no, 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 no. My plates tell me I'm handicapped. My 100% this, this is not for this that. Is a sample one of the I understand. I'm, it says nothing I'm not saying you wrong, Officer Billy. I'm not saying you wrong. What you can't read. I'm not saying that. What I'm telling you is you're harassing the wrong person. Is what I'm trying to get all. This. What this is all about. This is all about harassing the wrong person that's doing the right thing. We, we we understand that. All right. All right. We are, we I got surgery next month. I don't have time for this. This. Trust me, I understand. All right. He passes you. He sees a violation. He sees the same violation. All right. That he's already issued you a citation for. Okay. That violation hasn't been corrected. All right. I'm and, not. And, I, I and just as, have to correct it. As, as far as far as he knows, as he knows, and, as, he knows. and, and, and as, right. as we know, period. Understood. As, as we know, uh, as we know, period. The state is not the state is not going to issue an exemption to have the full window tenant. Understood. Mm -hmm. So when they gave me this, mm -hmm. I'm just saying when I went to the states uh -huh. and they gave me this for my windshield, okay, mm -hmm. which is totally separate from my license plate, my handicap but, license plate. Now, it could be got, what I'm so, saying. It's totally I separate. I, I have to take an assumption as the citizen that I did the right thing. Right. And then I we get understand. pulled. And then I get pulled again. Right. But see, and I provide but, him. No, I didn't have this last time. Right. Listen, I didn't have this last time. Right. He pulled me. 
Mm -hmm. I went and got this last time. He, I went and did, last time I went and got this because he told me I have to go down to the state mm -hmm. and get the t t t permit for your windshield. Okay. I yeah. know how to follow orders. Yeah, it, look, we we see what you did. I did I, everything we, he told we me to do. We see what you did, and and, it's, and, and I, I'm not gonna say it's your fault. Maybe I'm, the person who issued you this, instead of issuing you or advising you on the correct certificate that you needed to get, did the wrong thing. In a time like this, I just buried my son. I lost a few comrades to COVID-19. And I see what's going on with the brothers. Mm -hmm. I got black and blue all over my car. I got black and blue. Mm -hmm. I support the police. My father was in the police department. So he gave you the uh, no, that, 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 no, no. Mm -hmm. what, you, what you're doing, how my father would never do what you do as a police officer. He would have never. I know that. But he would never do the, what you're doing to a person like me because he knows it's facts. You're doing this. This is about money. Just like you saying you don't work for them, like you keep saying. Yeah, That's your. Yeah, I know you don't care. The thing is, you're supposed to care. You're supposed to care. That's the problem. Cops don't care. No, like you keep saying, you don't care. The problem right now, what's going on, is cops don't care. I stop you. That's why. I know you. You stop me. You stop me. But then listen, you stopping me for something that as I, I did what you told me to do. Instead of you saying, okay, Mr. Belfort, I see you win again. You issued me a citation for something, for doing what he told me to do. Mm -hmm. You issued me a citation anyway for the fifth, no, for the fourth time. Knowing I did what you, you told me to do. And you gave it to me anyway. As 100%, you told me this. I don't work for that. I don't care. I'm giving you one anyway. I say, Officer Billingsley, I, I saw you when you, when, when you turned around and made the U-turn. I say, that's Officer Billingsley. Yeah, well, you All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've been pulled so many times by this man. I know who he is before we even get out the car. So if that's if that if that is not going to be considered a little bit of harassment, and what would drive a person like me on medication? Excuse me, you don't know my problem, but I'm on meds and everything else. Okay, that's why I have my dog. I was just walking my dog, get some fresh air. That's what we was going to do. Instead of him, I don't know where you were going. You was probably headed to the station. I don't know. But you know who I am. And you pulled me anyway. Fine and dandy. Once I showed you that, I went and got this. You were supposed to say, Mr. Balfour, thank you for going to get that. But unfortunately, they didn't give you that. I'm not going to give you a citation, but you need to get that address. You give me a citation for doing what you told me to do, and I'm innocent. All I did was follow the instructions of the D, of the, D the State Department. The state that you told me to go to. No one, but I'm just saying, you treated me like I was a like I was shit, like I was nobody, man. And I did everything you asked me to do oh. since I moved out to here. You're the only cop that has put me since I bought my home. Down, it's it's harassment, though, to a certain degree, though, Officer Billingsley. Even if it was you with your wife, okay? My kid, I just my last child just graduated. It got five graduated already, okay? I just look like this, okay? I just look like this. All I'm telling you is you could have came about this differently knowing I did what you told me to do and you issued me a citation anyway. I could have easily said, no problem, Mr. Off Officer Billingsley. You see, I know you see I went and got what you told me to go get. I will go back down there and ask them if this is correct. Because I did what you told me to do. You give me a ticket anyway. Yeah, all the courts look for sir is voluntary compliance. You get it corrected. I, what I'm he, he not hearing me, is he? Are you he not he but Co Cofield hear me. You he hear me? I know you've been, you, you a traffic cop. I know that's what you, you told me. You the charge of the game. However, y'all got, you have to have some type of sympathy for those that are doing right and what you're telling them to do in this harsh world. Because it's a whole lot better, if people, worse for people out there than me, this disabled veteran that's riding around with 10 on this windshield that's needed medically that you can harass. I'm pretty sure it is. You say, I don't know your medical condition. I'm just, but you know, you know, you know him. You pulled me five times. I done told you five times. You know him. You don't have a bad memory. The first time you saw my truck, you said what? The truck stand out like a sore thumb, son. I'm going to recognize you. So you know who I am. Those were your exact words to me. So what I'm saying is, listen to me. He's making a, listen, Mr. Officer Cofield, he's making up excuses. All I want him to know is there's diff you could go about doing things differently with what's going on in the world with us people, with our people. With our people, I did what you told me to do. And you want to give citations out to people doing what's uh, doing right by you. Riding around with your blue, black, and blue on. Supporting you. Supporting this country. You ain't when I did, did what I did for this country. I did. 
and you want to give me tickets for something I, 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 that I got medical conditions for, yeah, it's, if, if it, may, it hurts to know what we sacrifice for this country and get harassed like this over something we didn't do. I'm walking my damn service dog, and you pulling me for a tent ticket that I got thrown out four times. I know it's something you could be better us doing than harassing me. Do this, uh... Do this for us. Right now, if he's, if he's already issued his ticket. Yes, he did. Uh, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't even think about it. He just said, I'm giving you the ticket anyway. That's the type of officer uh, he is. That, there's nothing we can do at that point as far as the ticket damage. I know. Do like I said. Give it, take I know. It, take, give it about two weeks. Yes, sir. All right. Call down there and ask to speak with the solicitor that that citation has been uh, assigned to, or the investigator that that citation has been assigned to. Yes, sir. And talk with them about it. Say, hey, yes, look. Yes, sir. They, uh, you know, y'all dis dis dismissed this citation in the past. However, I've gotten it again. I'm no, I'm what not. I'm gonna I'm say I'm getting it from the. I say I got the same police yeah. officer harassing me you every it. month, you and I don't know what to do. You I've done everything he asked me to do. Yeah. I could just tell yeah. him what he just, what yeah. he told me to do. I went ask, and told him I did. Them, That's all I do. I ask, tell him the truth. Ask them what they suggest that you do because it's again, it's, it's, it's still a violation. He put right. the meat on there. Right. He see it's legal. I mean, and he pulls and he puts the meat on my window like I'm changing my tent monthly. Right. I'm not changing my tent monthly. Do you know that's, how much that junk costs? That's, <laughs> that's just, that's just Do you know how much it costs? Yeah. You check it every time you and you know it's legal. But that's, you know that's, it's legal. That's 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 part that's just I part know it's of, part of the routine, I understand. But he but, know it's legal. Yeah. Just just do that, you know, and we you know, like I said, in, until we can uh, especially until we get some kind of clarification, either from the court, because the court will call us. Yes, sir. Uh, they'll call, they get in contact with us. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, if we get a clarification from the court or from the state, then you don't have to worry about that anymore. Yes, sir. Right. So, basically, go to court again. Just call. And go, what, call. go to you court can, again. You don't have to. Okay. Call down there. Okay. They're going to assign that case to an investigator. All right. Okay. And the investigator, you know, should do a little background. And then before you have to go to court, say, hey, look, I would like to come in and sit down and talk with somebody in your office in reference to how I can stop getting these citations, especially if y'all are going to throw them out. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Well, we appreciate you, man. We appreciate everything you've done. Thank All you. Right? Thank 20 you. 20 years is a long time. My name's on the citation to the investigator. They, they, they more than one. Officer I just think you've been doing it too long. You need to get a little bit more empathy and sympathy on the people you talk to, especially that you know. It's not like you don't know me. I ain't never gave you a hard time. I just stood right. up for what was right. And I think you just need to have a, get a better approach on how you treat your citizens that look out for you. Because you don't know who look out for you. But I ride around with pride telling people I look out for y'all. And I got, and, I, and then I, this is how I get treated. It hurts, man. It hurts. It hurts, man. Just long drill. People got feelings. It hurts. That don't deserve it. It hurts. There's a whole lot more going on than this. But just think something to think about, man. It's something to think about, really. About for yourself. Because you could put a person like me in a hospital. Yes, sir. Again, sorry about that. I didn't even get your name. My name, my name Irvin. All right. Perfect. Yes, sir. All right. Don't forget to glance on your truck. Huh? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I even got, I even got, trans I even got transition glasses. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's medically needed. I'm just... You're almost there, man. You got the medical. Uh, I, mean, I, did, I, did, I, did, I did, did everything you said, right. man. I just want you to just ease up on me, man. Ease up on me. You know who I am. I tell you what. You take that 10 out of that front one shit, I, I can't. disappear. But why should I? I'm telling you. You want me to disappear? You take the chin out the front with you. You won't. You won't see me no more. Even though I got documentation, yeah. it won't be a violation. I ain't got no reason to stop you. Not looking at the book, then it's not a violation. I ain't no reason to stop you. So if you get with the chin on the front with you, I go away. It's just All that right. simple. Right, but I can't here. force you to take hey, it off. You have a good one. <laughs> hey, I live right around the corner, man. I live right around the corner in North Bridge Estates. I got to worry about seeing, that's what I'm trying to say. This is my home. Yeah, this know. is my home, man. Yeah. I, just, we, I just don't want you to understand, this is my home. You're okay? Not, you, don't, you don't have to worry about that. No, it's right. my home, man. Right. It's my home. I want to feel safe at home, too. All right? All right.